going to start getting into robotics and we're going to learn how to program a robot. So in order to do that, we're going to kick off this activity today um, and learn about a few different things. Kind of the standards we're working on, the biggest thing I need from you guys today is this first one. So making sense and persevering and solving them. Sometimes robotics can be challenging because robots only do what you tell them to. Um, so you're going to meet a stubborn robot today. Um, you guys are going to make sure you use your tools strategically. So think about tools you can use to solve the problems. Um, and then look for and make use of structure. And we'll kind of get into what that looks like. Um, really, the, the biggest piece of advice is if you can connect those algorithms to a student's daily life or what they're learning in other classes, it's going to really help them become less intimidated by algorithms. You may have a procedure for how they enter your room or how they turn in work. Any of those kinds of procedures that you can help them understand, we broke this procedure down in steps and this is an algorithm that you do every day to help us be more efficient in class. So in this lesson that I did and in other lessons, um, sometimes students get frustrated. No, a red line. No, a red line? A blue. A blue line. And draw from the side of the red line <laughs> to the... To this be, is not gonna end well. Yeah, parallel. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right, and they need that productive struggle to be able to, to progress and to be able to, to to grow um, as students and as learners. At one point in time, they couldn't figure out what the, the vocabulary were for horizontal and vertical lines. Does this stubborn robot know like horizontal and stuff? Oh, what it, which one of these is horizontal? We kind of, as a class, we stopped. Okay, let's stop as a class and talk about some vocabulary that we might need. Top one. The top one? How many people agree with that? Give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up if you agree, thumbs down if you don't. Okay, it is not the top one. <laughs> so this is gonna be horizontal down here. Um, the trick is kind of give them an enough productive struggle that they are challenged, but not in too much to where they just shut down. Um, in this particular lesson, it's a lot of fun. I can kind of be humorous with it and be silly and be a silly robot. And so it kind of helps the kids kind of break down from feeling like they don't know what to do, but it's okay because we're laughing about it. Um, erase the top half of the red line. Top half. Thanks. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> undo. Undo. A universal undo. Is that what we're doing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so with me being a silly robot and I'm going to do all kinds of crazy things, it's going to drive them to find their version of specific. So if I'm going to do this right here on this board, what am I going to do? What do I need to do first? Make a line. Okay, make a line. Okay. What do I have to do before I can make a line? Oh, draw a blue line? How am I supposed to draw a blue line with this marker? To get a blue marker. Oh, I need to get a blue marker. Okay. Uh, draw a blue line, like, straight across. Straight across? That's diagonal. You didn't tell me I couldn't draw a diagonal line. We're going to get this, guys. We're going to get this. Draw a horizontal. Draw a horizontal line? Okay. Horizontal. All right. So that could be measurement in inches and, or length of some sort. It could be time. It could be draw until they tell me to stop. Um, but each class is going to find their own way to solve that problem. We, we, we found a word for that already, horizontal? right? Yeah. Horizontal. Okay, so we're going to do a horizontal line. One of the things that we were trying to get to today, one of the things that we're trying to get to today is use our tools appropriately. Are there other ways for me to think about the length of a line? Uh, draw the line starting from the, from the right side of the green line parallel to the red line. Ooh, parallel. I like that instruction. But I could still go this way, right? <laughs> she didn't tell me when to end. To all right. end off where the blue line To end where the blue line goes. Okay. Woo. All right, here we go like this. <laughs> and that's what needs to happen. They need to know that there's so many different ways to, that they can solve a problem. It's just getting to that solution that's the, the important part. The students um, need some time to reflect. They may have just seen algorithm for the first time and programmed uh, a robot uh, for the first time. They need time to think about and break down what, what went well in this activity and what didn't. I mean, it's a real world scenario. Sometimes you're on a team with people that are gonna help lift you up and sometimes you're on a team with people that kind of steer you in the wrong direction. Um, so how can you recover from that? How did we recover from that as a class? So I think that reflection um, is critical for the students so that they can, can really process their learning for the day. Thank you.